Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Desiree and this is my two-year-old daughter Nadia. Today I am going to, Ah! No mama! I'm going to be showing you guys how I cut her hair into a bob haircut for little girls. Um, so yeah, I am going to be doing a voiceover though. I just wanted to do the intro just to let you guys know what this video is going to be about even though you guys already read the title but whatever. I am going to be doing the voiceover just because the fan is on and I feel like it's annoying to talk over it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is a brush as well as some water to wet their hair, a clip to part their hair and get, out, get it out the way, and some hair cutting scissors. And so first thing I'm doing is just making sure that there's no knots so that the hair is easy to work with and I'm going to be picking up the half this half part of her hair oh yeah you're also going to need need a rat tail comb i think that's what they're called and um i'm just going to be sectioning off this top hair to the side so that i could focus on the bottom hair and i'm also going to be using that little comb just to make sure that it's really parted in a straight line so that there isn't too much hair on one side or too little hair on the other side so that it's really perfectly even and so putting that hair to the side, this is what the bottom hair should look like. And I'm going to be splitting the half of the hair right from her ear. So you're gonna want, that's how I measured it. So like from the ear, put half in the back and half in the front, and it should look like this. I'm also going to be doing the same thing to, to the other side. And I'm going to be place, um, picking up those little strands of hairs and just putting them to the side so that I don't accidentally cut them because that's going to be the hair that we are going to leave longer or the bob haircut that we are going to be doing so uh, now i'm just asking her to look straight and once you are able to measure where you're gonna want to or how short you're gonna want the back to be then you just go ahead and cut it and i decided i wanted it that short and as you could tell i did cut off a lot i didn't notice until i started watching the video how much i actually cut off but i was like wow like it's way shorter but it turned out so so cute so that's just what i'm doing right now and um so what i like to do is cut some hair and then i'm able to tell how far i'm going to cut the rest of the hair so almost use a piece of hair like your guide so you're gonna want to cut and then pick up a strand of hair that's already cut for your guide so you know exactly how much to cut <laughs> and so um, once you get to the corners of the hair you're going to want to cut it almost in an angle you can tell i'm cutting it as an angle so the center piece you're going to cut straight which is the hair that we cut before that corner and then the corners you're going to want to cut at an angle so now i'm letting down the strands that we had picked up earlier and i'm going to be combing them or actually i'm going to be wetting them first because the hair was dry <laughs> And then you're going to want to comb it with the hair that you cut. So with the back, so with the hair that's behind the ear. And then you're going to want to angle it so that it all blends over. But leaving the corner closest to the face a little bit longer. Just so that it gives it that nice bob haircut. Just like that. And I know it looks crazy right now. But trust me. <laughs> it works out. And so once you've done it on both sides. You're just going to want to measure them and make sure that they're the same length. And so... I decided to let go of, of the rest of the hair that we had in touch and you want to make sure it's nice and wet so here I am wetting it and I just decided to comb all of the hair slick black and you could tell how you could see the hair that's already cut and the hair that's not cut so the hair that's already cut is almost going to be like our invisible line so we can know where to cut so I'm just cutting all of the hair back to one length it doesn't matter I'm not parting it just cutting it all the same length to the length that we had cut it at the beginning if that makes any sense okay and so once it's all one length i'm going to go ahead and part her hair like i normally would when um i'm going to be styling it so right here i'm parting it down to the side and you're just gonna since the hair was already cut and i couldn't find my scissors there and she was sitting on them <laughs> so as i was saying you're just gonna want to cut the hair and trim it back up and her hair from the front was already short so this part was easier but i'm just doing the same thing if i see any little hairs you just want to angle them out with the hairs that we had cut previously and just make sure that her hair is even and 
the back layer was really bulky so i decided to cut it a little bit shorter but this is just the center remember that we parted her hair into like three or four sides so you're getting the center of it so i'm just cutting that layer a little bit shorter so that it could look nice and blended into it and i decided to cut the last layer even shorter as well just so that you could really tell that it's a bob haircut because i felt like you couldn't really tell it just kind of looked like one length so i just went ahead and cut that back part or the center of her hair just a little bit more and it looks really really good so this is what it looks like it's still not styled so i'm gonna go ahead and just blow dry it but as you can tell it looks really good and it really worked out that i cut it shorter so here i am just drying it for you guys so that you guys can see how it looks once it's done and i don't think she had noticed that i cut her hair because she was on the phone the whole time <laughs> but you see her looking at herself she's like running down her hair down her hands like what what happened to my hair <laughs> I find it funny though how Nadia's hair wants to like come to the front. It doesn't stay on the side. I don't know why. I think it's because of her remolino. Like her hair wants to come to the front. So here I am putting it to the side <laughs> so that it could stay. A ver si se lo acostumbro con una gorrita or something. But that's pretty much it. Wow. Mira aquí. Hi. And so this is the final look. You know, Mama? Whee! This is what it looks like from the back. It's so cute, you guys. And so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! I just say, bye! Oh! So much attitude. Bye.